Well, my story is a little bit different than most people who are alumni of UC Davis in that when I decided to attend UC Davis, I was already a faculty member at UC Davis. While serving as a faculty member, Dr. Douglas Gross began volunteering for a program working with developmentally disabled children. Driven by this passion, Dr. Gross resigned from his faculty position and enrolled at the UC Davis School of Medicine. After specializing in pediatrics, he established his own private practice, but a chance meeting with a West African pastor would take his work international. And at the end of the conversation, he said, well, I'm heading back in about a month. Why don't you come with me and see what things are like? And to my surprise, I said, okay. It was a little baby who I'm pretty sure had cerebral palsy. And the mom brought this baby in and you know, at that point, there's really not much to be done for that baby. So sometimes the only thing you can really do to kind of maximize their potential in that situation is to have them move the, the limbs around and try and keep them from getting overly stiff. And so I was explaining this to the mother. And of course, this is with a translator because this was in, I believe, in Senegal. But the mom was staring right at me. She didn't care what anybody else was saying. She was looking at me and what hit me was, you know, she is no different than any other mother anywhere. She wants the best that she can do for her child. And she doesn't have very many resources, but here's someone telling her, this is what you can do for this child. And she was so intently focused on me. I have a, a picture of, of her staring at me that I love to look at. And I think that was very early in, in my career globally. And it, it just hit me that, you know, everybody everywhere wants the same things. And, and we can help with that. Recognized for his expertise, Dr. Gross was invited to Ethiopia's capital to help train the country's healthcare workers, many of whom are given less than a month of training before they become the sole healthcare provider to villages. And I thought, well, what in the world am I going to teach them about pediatrics? And I stumbled onto a program that was just being started by the World Health Organization. It was called Integrated Management of Childhood Disease. Dr. Gross adapted this program for Ethiopia. Realizing its effectiveness, he decided to get involved with the World Health Organization on a broader scale. And it became clear that I had a fair amount of skill and some background in teaching and, and, and pediatrics and ultimately was brought on as an expert consultant to the WHO and worked in trying to help implement that program for several years. At the time, Dr. Gross was also an active volunteer for a Sacramento-based disaster medical assistance team. In 2010, he was one of the first to arrive in Haiti after the devastating 7.0 magnitude earthquake. And that was such a very powerful experience. It was so much worse and more impactful than anything I'd ever done. Dr. Gross is currently the director of a project within the UC Haiti Initiative to improve pediatric care in Haiti and has returned to teaching. He holds joint appointments in the Department of Cell Biology and Human Anatomy and in the Department of Pediatrics. He also remains a practicing pediatrician at the UC Davis Medical Center. You know, everybody always makes a big thing about how busy I am, but everybody is busy. I guess really what it comes down to is my own sort of personal faith that says, you know, if people are suffering, then we have an obligation to do something about it.